tell me what it what it means. We'll just start go back to last weekend and coming in and our big question or Joe's and uh Pastor are both coming back. Yeah, Jost will be uh the plan is for Jost to fly in on uh Friday morning. Obviously uh he's got the semifinal game going on right now and then from there it's it's either the gold medal game or the third place game and uh uh, so he'll be coming in on Friday morning. So he'll be, he will be available, uh, providing transportation. And then uh, with Besser, he's here skating with us. That's going to be a game time decision. It looks good in practice, and uh, you know he's progressing nicely here. So they're both in our group. How do you manage Tyson's minutes with you know him playing already three times this week? If, if he does play, or how do you manage the decision whether he plays or how much to play? Him? Well, I think that'll you know that's that's something where you know first of all he's a competitor. You know. Uh, He's a he's a young man that's hungry to play every day, every, in practice, every day in a game, and you know we're going to do what's best for him and, and our group here, and, and see how he is after the, you know the the games that he plays and his travel coming in and different things like that, and we'll gauge it as we go, um, you know, and uh, and then from there, and then with Brock, it's the same situation. You know, we're going to get closer to the the weekend here to see you know where he's at and uh, and and make that decision. So again, like I said, we're very. Thankful that they're, they'll be both of them will be back in our group here. It's just a matter of making sure that we do the right thing for our group. They might have some decisions for you guys to make lineup wise with forwards coming in or forwards coming out if they come in after you know, guys play pretty well. At yeah, time. yeah, we'll have some decisions. The, but the biggest thing that I want to make mention here and, and make you know that like we won a game in Union with two of our prominent players out of the lineup playing the right way, playing a team first mentality and we're going to make sure that we we do things the right way or put a lineup together that, that gives us the best chance to do that and again like I told you we're thankful and blessed that these two guys are coming back in our group but we got to remember the guys that were in our group here that got us a win too and uh, we're going to do the right thing uh, as far as our group when we do put a lineup together. What those guys do to make Life tough on you, and their, their coach wasn't real happy with. Their, he didn't think his team handled what you guys put at him very well. Well, first of all, I thought their team played well. Uh, you know, obviously they didn't they didn't probably uh, create or score to normally what they usually do as a high high scoring team, but I thought they did play play very well. I thought that, you know, our team played well too and, and part of that was, you know, being physical, making sure that we, we had energy and we, you know, our four check was, was pretty good on uh, on Saturday night against Union, which created a couple goals for us. Um, you know, our puck management, we didn't turn a lot of pucks over and, you know, and, and then specialty teams, like we, our, our penalty kill was very good. We only won one power play opportunity, but our penalty kill, we had to kill five penalties against the top team. So whenever you put the combination of all those things together, it gives you a good chance to win. Now, you have to do that every single game in the second half of the year, especially in NCHC competition. Staten's first game in a while. What did you think of him coming back in? Yeah, I, I thought he, you know, he brought you know energy into our group. I thought he, you know, he moved pucks, uh, uh, you know, extremely well. Um, you know, he, he gives you some experience back there that, that you need, and uh, you know, I, I think he gave us a, a little bit of a bump back there with our D group. How do you think Colton handled the extra minutes? Excellent. No, I thought he did well. Like you know, he you know he was playing with Tucker against, you know, probably the other team's top line most of the time there. And, uh, you know, I thought he did a good job. You know, we go <laughs> every weekend, we look at a chances for and chances against. He was only out there for one chance against. And, you know, when he played the minutes that he did, you know, he was doing things the right way. Now, you know what, we're playing against a, a high-flying offensive team in Omaha, and it's going to be another challenge. And, uh, again, we got to make sure that we don't rely on our last game or rest on those laurels. we got to make sure that we, uh, we get back to work and the cl cl slate is clean again. Kind of going back to what you said, your team is more than just <clears throat> two players. Yeah. But what is it a performance like you guys put together against Union without those two guys? What does that do for the psyche of a team? Well, it shows you that you know it. It goes back to what we always talk about: the next man up mentality. That you know, guys are, are here in our program for a reason. You know, they're they're very good players, all different levels of skill level. But they all have a common thing that they're team first and they, they have impeccable character. And that's, you know, that resonates with our group that if you can get the job done with a couple of influential players out of your lineup, it, it builds momentum. And, and that's what I was getting at. Like, you know, when we go into Friday, we're going to put a lineup together that we think is, is going to give us a chance to win based on our culture. When you look at Omaha, Ortega's been a centerpiece for the last few years for them. Is there any advantage for you guys having faced him a couple times already, knowing how good of a player he is? Yeah, he's a game breaker. You know, I think he's you know uh, the game-winning goals that he scores. Big-time players make big plays, and you know he's he's at the top in the nation of game-winning goals. Uh, you know, he plays with speed. He plays with pace. He's got a shot-first mentality. Um, you know, it's going to be a situation no different than Vecchioni or, or Fu or those guys that were in Union that you got to be aware when he's on the ice. And obviously not having the last line change.
change. Uh, it's got to be a team concept of that mentality of not just one line shutting them down. It's it's whoever's on the ice against them, making sure you keep them in front of you and uh, and, and not letting them having free looks. Now, second half of the season, uh, what's the message to your team going into NCHC play? Consistency, uh, uh, making sure that we have business-like mentality. Uh, you know, uh, the work ethic has to be there in practice and in the games, and 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 playing with that consistent effort and not getting too high and too low. I think the biggest thing in the first half of the season is, you know, we would be at opposite ends of the spectrum all the time, and we got to make sure that we have a, a business-like approach, a workman-like attitude, and make sure that you know there's a job to be done. And uh, again, it starts with just one game, and that's Friday night. What does it mean to see guys like Wilkie? Give up their body like they did at the end of the game. What does that do with that? It, 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 it infuses the momentum. It, it, it infuses team attitude. It, it infuses uh, a thought that, you know what, everybody is willing to do whatever they can to win a game. And, uh, you know, uh, we were here years ago when uh, we had a guy named Rostislav Spirko who was known for his offensive ability. You know, he blocked uh, one or two shots and normally doesn't do that. And, uh, uh, it, it just infused our bench, and uh, uh, it, it's something that everybody has to take part on. It's uh, it's a team first mentality. Any more questions for Coach? Thanks, fellas. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thanks.